In this video we look at conduit size required for single core cables according to SABS SANS. So we are looking at an extraction from that book and uh, this is the procedure that I am pointing out to you which is the actual annex and um, you have to use the table C and K and this is another part which is section 6 related to annex F and really directly connected to it more information as to how to look at it and so without further ado I have a question give the con conduit size suitable for each of the following single core conductor circuits do not show calculations all earth conductors are equal to the phase conductors so we have the first part or the part that I will deal with one by 4 mm squared circuit and 2 by 1.5 mm squared circuit. What does this mean? In the red I have already got information which I've extracted from just the blue part of the question. The answer is actually uh, the red. And so I have the tables which is given in the question paper and again there I'm circling 1 and 2. 1 means 3 conductors. So one circuit consists of three conductors. Two circuits consist of six conductors. So if you have experience in the field, you will know this when you draw wire. It's generally or normally uh, red, black and your earth wire. There are questions where the earth wire is not included and they would make maybe a, a note or say, talk something about it uh, as part of another question where you have to maybe... Uh, make the earth a 2.5 uh, conductor if it's a, a 1.5 millimeter squared circuit. So I've got some more information and notes. You can see there 1 and 2. I have to now go look at the first circuit, 4 millimeter squared. I go look at my C uh, table or look, uh, look up my C values. I will see there my formal circuit, the green arrow, the lower one, and I go horizontally across to the C value, it is 17. So 17 times 1, but there's 3 wires, so it will be 17 times 3 for the first part. Then plus 6 times 1.5, uh, and that 1.5, if you go across it, you can see that the C value is 10. So that will be the uh, 10 representing 1.5, 1, 1.5 wire, but you have 6. So you say 6 times 10. And you can see that just below, I now have 3 times 17, okay? 17 coming from the 4 millimeter squared. Remember the green arrow, just look lower down, the lowest green arrow. And that's where the 17 times 3 comes from, come from the 3 meaning 3 conductors. And I, I would then have to add up the 51 and the 60 and the minute I do that I then have a K value what do I do then with a K value I have to to go to my table for K values the conduit diameter this is what it's all about you need to give the conductor size for the amount of wires that you have in this case different size um, conductors and there's a certain quantity so this is what we need to achieve here is to find the correct size and so you see the triple one uh, I've, I've calculated my conductors I found a K value of triple one what does this mean if I look at my table I I go to the table which is right underneath the calculation table 624 and I then look and see it's 111 and it is greater than 90 so if you look at that table you will see an the value for k if you have 0 to 90 um, as a value you will use a 20 mil pvc conduit that is the second column in the in the k table if you have anything from 91 to 144 as a value, as a K value, you will use 25 millimeter squared. Using this information, my 111 
4 is greater than 90, which means I cannot use a 20 millimeter uh, squared PVC conduit. Therefore, we choose 25 millimeter size conduit. And so uh, this is how you get to this point. Uh, some other uh, sums are not as simple as this, but you have to interpret it correctly.